Good day, students. Welcome, Welcome to our English class. I'm Teacher John Reb, and I am Teacher Marcel, and, and together we will learn English: the journey towards excellence. And before we take off, let us first invite the presence of our Almighty God in a short prayer. Father, we thank you for your grace, love, and mercy that has been extended to us one more time. Thank you for today. Thank you for the ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit and guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about our topic today. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me and let us all go to the airport. On behalf of the crew, ladies and gentlemen, may I ask you to please pay attention as we provide the learning objectives for today's lesson. In this lesson, the student should be able to first identify each sentence according to its function. Compose declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory sentences. Appreciate the kind of sentence structure according to its function in everyday communication. Mabuhay and welcome to English 7 Airlines. We care about your learning and your future. Please fasten your seat belts and store your baggage on the overhead bins and under the seats in front of you. Thank you for flying with English 7 Airlines. Enjoy your flight! Before we embark on this journey, let us first answer this fill-in-the-blank activity. Here are the answers. Introduce. Command. Surprise. Question. Instruction. Good job, kids! We are now ready to take off. For this lesson, we will be talking about sentence structure according to function. Here's the list of our itinerary for today. First, declarative sentence. Second, interrogative sentence. Third, imperative sentence. And for the last, we have exclamatory or exclamative sentence. But before we go on to our first destination, let us first know what a sentence function is. Sentence function is the purpose of the sentence. It refers to the reason why the speaker utter a word, phrase, sentence, or a clause. The English language has four primary sentence functions. Declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory. If you want to determine a sentence function, ask yourself, what is the point of the sentence? And what is it trying to Accomplish. Now, let us go to our first destination. Declarative sentence. It is the most common type of sentence and it is used to make a statement, express opinion, provide justification, and facts. For example, Jonah loves to sing. That is an example of a statement. Next, we have, sunflower is more beautiful than daffodils. This is an example of expressing an opinion. For the last example, we have, the sun is the center of our solar system. This sentence serves as a fact-providing sentence. Take note that a declarative sentence ends with a period and is usually a plain sentence. If you understand declarative sentences, let us try to answer this activity. The planet Earth is the third planet in the solar system. What makes this sentence a declarative one? That's right! The sentence shows a factual statement and ends with a period. That is why it is considered a declarative sentence. Students, 
Please secure your seatbelts and be ready for the next destination. Interrogative sentences are used to pose questions and in most cases, to elicit a response. Interrogative sentence comes in a variety of forms. Interrogative with a yes or no response, alternative and interrogative, WH questions, interrogative that are negative, and ask tagging questions. The following are examples of interrogative sentences. Have you eaten? Would you like to go to the beach or park? Where do you live? You don't want to join us, do you? Take note that interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. If you understand interrogative sentences, let us try to answer this activity. What is the biggest planet in the solar system? What makes this sentence an interrogative one? That's correct! This sentence is a type of WH questions that requires an answer. Get yourselves ready for the next destination. We will now land on the next itinerary. Imperative sentences are primarily used to issue a command, make a demand, and can be presented in various forms. Giving instructions, offering advice, making a wish on behalf of someone else, extending an invitation, and giving a command. Here are the examples of imperative sentences. Sit down. Set the oven to 180 degrees. Try the other door. Have a nice day. Please take a seat. Note that when imperative sentences are formed, there is frequently no subject present because subject is assumed to be you, the reader, or the listener. Imperative sentences can end with a period or an exclamation point depending on the command's urgency. To understand imperative sentences, let us try to answer this activity. Don't ever touch my phone. What makes this sentence imperative? You got it right! This sentence tells people what to do by giving instructions and commands. We are now off to our next destination. Exclamatory sentences convey a strong emotion in a point of view, such as surprise, excitement, and anger. Exclamatory sentences must include the words of what and how and frequently end with an exclamation mark. Here are some examples of exclamatory sentences. What a pleasant surprise! Oh, how lovely! If you understand exclamatory sentences, let us try to answer this activity. We won! What makes this sentence an exclamatory one? Very good! This sentence expresses strong emotion, which is extreme happiness. Did you enjoy traveling with English 7 Airlines? Now, let us see if you can answer the following learning task. Ready your pen and paper. Identify the following sentences by labeling them as D for declarative, IN for interrogative, IM for imperative, and E for exclamatory. Number 1. The cat is sleeping on the couch. Number 2. Is it cold outside? Number 3. Are you feeling better? Number 4. How bright they've grown in the sunlight. Number 5. We watched TV last night. Number 6. I am extremely sorry for your loss. Number 7. Be there at 5. Number 8. Clean your room. Number 9. When will you visit your mom? And number 10. Where do you live? Here are the answers for this activity. Number 1. D for declarative. Number 2. 
IN for interrogative. Number 3. IN for interrogative. 4. E for exclamatory. 5. D for declarative. 6. E for exclamatory. 7. I am for imperative. 8. I am for imperative. 9. I am for interrogative. And 10. I am for interrogative. All right. I hope you learned a lot today. This is GAM TV, and, and together, together we, we will, will learn English, English the, the journey towards, towards excellence. excellence. See you on our next exciting and fun discussion in English class. Bye! Bye.